Thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I greet you all, distinguished brothers and sisters, with the greetings of peace, uh, salam, shalom. I'm very grateful to the organizers for having convened uh, this historical uh, event and to have the occasion to share uh, briefly some of the experiences after the best practice example of uh, the city of Florence. Uh, uh, promoted by a uh, dear friend and Rabbi uh, Levi with uh, Imam Ezzedin al -Zir. Um I must say that uh, on my side, uh, uh, the experience of uh, Jewish and Islamic relations in Italy is a long experience, uh, which uh, uh, dates probably more than 20 years. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, I must say that uh, at the beginning, it was a very uh, limited engagement due to a sort of uh, indifference and narrow-minded interpretations by some of our uh, Muslim brothers and sisters in Italy who on one side were probably concentrating on more social integration policies or uh, priorities and were less sensitive unfortunately on the natural engagement between religious believers uh, in uh, uh, secular Italian society uh, who concerns uh, traditional religious spiritual wisdom and uh, social uh, um, citizenship responsibilities. Now, uh, as probably um, Director Shania, uh, Rav Shania has mentioned, it is much more, the situation has changed and we are facing a new, um, a new phase where uh, there is a lot of uh, much more open-minded, uh, proactive cooperation between the two major minorities of the Italian uh, Muslims and Jewish uh, in, in Italy. Um, to give only three uh, fields of our activity, I must say that at the beginning of these 20 years, probably the m majority of our engagement as Muslim believers in Italy was at an international level where we had the chance to take advantage of at least three uh, meetings uh, in uh, Jerusalem uh, at a theological level, exchanging uh, um, um, in deepening the knowledge of our word, as it was mentioned by President uh, Cantor, uh, in uh, the Shalom Hartman Institute in uh, Jerusalem and then at the uh, Hebrew University in Jerusalem. And lately, uh, I was also very um, happy to be a guest of an interreligious uh, um, group that visited as a guest of the American Jewish Committee uh, Jerusalem, having very interesting relations at a different level, theological, media, educational, youth, uh, and the civil society meetings uh, in Jerusalem with Muslims and Jews uh, uh, in, in Jerusalem. And I think these experiences have in somehow inspired the, the two other uh, fields we are now concentrating on. One is, of course, uh, imam and rabbis uh, in Europe and in Italy, as we had the occasion also there again to be inspired here in Brussels, uh, and Rabbi Gigi uh, has hosted the first of the three imam and rabbis for peace uh, European meetings uh, where I had the privilege to meet him and Rabbi Gedge and uh, many others, but among others, and let me quote uh, uh, Chief Rabbi Sephardit Bakshi Doron, who I believe was one of the most holy persons I have met in my uh, life for the moment being. And uh, so as a result of these three meetings in Brussels, Sevilla, and Paris, uh, we have been trying to arrange uh, meetings at the same level in Italy, in eight cities. So, uh, and in the eight meetings between um, imams and rabbis were, were held either in the synagogues or in the mosques or in public spaces. And every meeting was on different issues and subjects. And the different themes uh, are in somehow uh, trying to stress uh, our unity and diversity uh, on our roots, theologically, spiritually, uh, uh, according to prophecy, and to respect of texts, 
and the secrecy of uh, sacredness of life, and then the uh, the public engagement and involvement in the intellectual and social challenges in European and Italian society as minorities in uh, contemporary challenges. And, uh, um, and after that, of course, we had the, this very great pleasure to be involved by the foundation of uh, ethnic understanding in uh, the visit to the United States in New York and Washington, and uh, to be part of this uh, networking process uh, of the twinning of imams and rabbis. And as a result of such, we were glad to receive, uh, for the first time in the history of, it, of Italy, uh, in 2006, and then again in 2009, an official visit of rabbis and of the Jewish community in our mosques uh, in the north of Italy. And finally, uh, the la last issue is youth because we have been uh, very thankful to the Italian president of the Republic who has uh, endorsed an award to our youth uh, um, group, uh, Muslim youth group, and the Jewish uh, uh, youth group that together have arranged uh, a, a, during this year, and it will be continuing next year, during the United Nations Year for Youth, a, 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 the organization of eight meetings in eight different cities between uh, youth of uh, Jewish and Christians trying to engage with the civil society, especially on the educational uh, level with the involvement of schools and uh, students from public Italian schools. So not only on, uh, for uh, Jews and Muslims, but for the, the wider society. So finally, I think this is part of the experience which uh, I hope we can share at the European level and uh, uh, improve our cooperation for the benefit of the European society. I thank you very much. Thank you.